Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I hope everybody is enjoying these beautiful days that we're getting. It is past halfway of September and it is so nice. The weather is being good to us. So today I'm in the backyard and I was just thinking, you know what? I'm going to make a fall dessert and I'm going to incorporate a Guyanese recipe into a fall dessert. So today I'm going to be making a plantain and coconut salara or a plantain and coconut bread roll. It's a fall edition. So come on down with me and let's make this delicious treat. It's something that just came to my mind and I'm going to put together these Guyanese ingredients and give it a beautiful twist to something very sweet and delicious. So come on down with me and let's make this dessert together. And for the second time, I oil my hair with the rosemary and clove oil. It is actually feeling good. I was able to tie up my hair because when you put oil in your hair, you have more control of it. So I'm going to keep it for the entire day and then wash it off at the end of the day. So come on down with me and let's get baking. To start with this recipe, we're gonna start kneading the dough first and I have my all-purpose flour here. I have a little bit of shortening. I have some brown sugar, some melted butter, warm water, and I'm gonna be adding to that some warm milk and I'll leave all the measurements in the description box below. So into the warm milk and water, I'm gonna add some sugar. I'm using brown sugar. That will help to activate the yeast nicely. And I'm going in with my instant yeast. We're gonna give this a little mix. I'm gonna cover this down and leave it for 10 minutes and then we will come back to it. So make sure you cover it down nice and tight and leave it here. While it's gonna activate, we're gonna work on our flour. So into the flour, I'm gonna add my melted butter. Add our vegetable shortening. This is optional, but it brings out a very nice texture in the bread. I'm gonna go in here and mix everything up with my hands. So now our yeast is nicely activated. See that? How it's like nice and fluffy on top. That's ready. So we're gonna add our yeast into the flour and the butter mixture. Then I'm gonna go in here with my hands and mix everything well. So I just rub a little bit of oil in this other dish i'm gonna leave my nicely kneaded bread dough in here to rise for a bit you can leave it for about an hour or more if you like i'm gonna start preparing my filling and i'll see how long i'm gonna take to finish that so the longer you leave it to rest the better for you just like when you're making some salara so we will come back to this in a few minutes. So for this recipe, of course, we're going to need coconut. I'm using freshly grated coconut. I'm going to use my sit down grater to grate it. I break the coconut and the water inside was very, very sweet. So I know this is going to be a perfect one for our coconut and plantain roll. So let me grate this up and come right back and show you the next step. To start with our filling, we have here some cinnamon, brown sugar, vanilla essence. I have some yellow food coloring and I have my freshly grated coconut. Why I like to use the sit down grater. It always comes out nice and lacy and have a beautiful texture. So I'm measuring it because I want to have an accurate measurement for the viewers. I already added some in here. We're going to go ahead and add the rest. So I'm measuring with a one cup measure. So 
So now we're gonna add our sugar in here and let the coconut and the sugar cook together. I can hear it starts to sizzle on the bottom. All these sugar crystals will melt and it will infuse nicely in our coconut. So our sugar is melting nicely. As you can see, the coconut is getting a little bit more wet and that's because our sugar is melting and it's becoming nice and juicy along with the milk from the coconut it becomes really nice and moist so i'm gonna add some cinnamon in here cinnamon stick can work as well but i want to keep all the flavors in i'm gonna add some cinnamon powder cinnamon is in we're gonna mix this in And the cinnamon will add a nice flavor to the coconut. We're gonna add some vanilla essence in here. And then we will mix. Smell that scent of the vanilla. I can smell it as soon as it heat up, you can smell it. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow food coloring because this is a different blend. So I wanna keep the color unique and different from you know, the Solara. You know what this reminds you of? What? Fall. Yeah? Exactly like fall. Because of the colors? Yes. So our coconut filling is ready. We have the beautiful fall color as Natalie just mentioned. And this is a perfect dessert then for fall. And plus I'm making this different with Charmin's Twist. It's like a Solara, but the filling will be with ripe plantain and coconut. So while this is cooling off, I'm gonna go prepare our ripe plantain. We'll add a nice sweetness and I'll add some nice texture to the filling. So with my ripe plantain, and this is another way to use up ripe plantain as well. And you guys know that I like to explore with my ingredients. I really like to try different things. And that's how new recipe came about. People trying out different things and they work perfectly well. And that's how we have all these different kind of recipes. So today I'm going to show you how to enjoy a nice, beautiful, coconut and plantain roll charmin creation so these are nice and super ripe we want to cut them back into small pieces and this is the perfect plantain to add to it once it's ripe like this it's going to add so much sweetness it's going to be nice and soft like you want it to be and add so much of flavor in there so we're gonna fry our plantain pieces. Until they're nice and brown. So we're gonna take it out with this nice, beautiful color that it has. Just like that, we're going to leave it to rest until it cool off a bit and then we're going to start rolling off. So our flour is double in size and this was resting for more than an hour. So let's go in here now and, and take it out. It's nice and soft, really, really soft. We're going to add some flour on the counter and then we're going to roll off this dough beautiful nice and soft dough so we're gonna cut this dough into two and we're gonna start rolling them off to do our filling a little bit more of flour here and then we will roll this one off I'm gonna try to make them as where as possible. So 
So we're gonna roll out a nice flat dough. I'm gonna go in and add my coconut in here. We're gonna spread this out evenly. And the reason I added yellow coloring, I want it, I want to keep it different from, from the Solara. And because fall is coming up, we're gonna make it a fall dessert. And we're gonna add our rye plantain in here. We're gonna spread it off nicely on top. And everything have the same color for the filling, which is amazing. And when these are cooked again in the oven, the plantain will get nice and sticky. And it will get some of that nice flavor from the coconut, the, the cinnamon and the vanilla essence and all that good stuff in there. And this is gonna work like a nice fruit or something like a like a raisin right so now is the part when we're gonna roll this just like when we're making salara we're gonna roll and roll and you notice that i leave the ends out a little and roll if any is coming out just nicely tuck them back in there and roll 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 Take this end and we're gonna seal the end up nicely. So now nicely tuck the edges away. If you end up with a little tiny hole, just patch it up. And then just tuck in your edges so the filling won't come out when it's cooking. Nice like that. And this is a fully loaded one, like real super full to the brim. I'm gonna seal it up nicely here. So we're gonna put this one in here and I'm gonna brush it a little bit with some butter uh, while I'm rolling off the next one. We're gonna brush them with a little bit butter before we put them in the oven. These are going in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And they're gonna be nice and ready for us to dig into them soon. So our beautiful baked goods is done. Our coconut and plantain roll or salara with coconut and rye plantain is ready. I'm buttering them up while they're still hot and we're gonna leave them to cool off and slice into these. They smell so good like Christmas in my kitchen with freshly baked bread. I know these are gonna taste nice so let's leave them to cool off a bit and then we will slice into one. So this here is one of our Solara. Look how beautiful it's done and nice and soft. This is our ripe plantain salara, or you can say our coconut and ripe plantain rolls, and they are nicely done. I thought it would uh, split open while cooking, but it is nice and beautifully done. The color and everything is great. It's cooked well from bottom to top. I don't like to cut it when it's warm or hot. I like to wait until it's nice and cool because you'll get a perfect cut but here we go and here is the time to cut our beautiful delicious salara with plantain and coconut or coconut and plantain roll i just dive in here for a piece i couldn't wait and check the beauty in there with the coconut and the plantain it is jam packed in here so let me slice it up for you guys nice small pieces oh my gosh check that so beautiful and here is the beauty right here i'm always so happy when i create a new recipe to see the end results 
and this is really looking like a fall dessert or a fall treat i would like to say to all of you out there please don't be afraid to play around with your ingredients try new things you never know until you try them if they're good or not but always have an open mind towards your food and different recipes so let's go for the taste testing time and i have so many pieces here i don't know which one to go in for i'm gonna take the one on my plate you can see there is planting pieces there is coconut in here let me go in for a nice bite coconut is falling out mm. i took a real nice big bite wow my kids will really enjoy this mm. the coconut inside is so flavorful mm -mm -mm. the cinnamon and the mix essence and biting into that nice ripe plantain it's such a beautiful flavor it's like a raisin in there but it's plantain instead but you remember when you're making this you have to get the really ripe plantain that's nice and juicy and soft such a sweet treat goes very nice with tea or coffee i'm gonna take another bite and you can use whatever coloring you want for the inside i just decided to use the yellow to make it different from the salara and it is fall so we try to put a fall color i'm gonna take and you can do a layer and layer pull it pull it out like that but i'm gonna keep it together so that i can get both plantain and coconut together with the bread and it is nice and soft and flaky and the coconut is just falling out everywhere so thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoy this recipe hope you will give it a try you guys know how much i like to experiment with my ingredients and my recipes take care god bless let me know what you guys think bye for now